Hi guys and welcome to FaithWorks Designs. I'm Faith and today we are finally getting to a project that I've been putting off for a while. I was waiting to find a really good pattern that was easy and an easy sew but kind of quick. Uh, I've been really busy the last couple of weeks making taco wallets. Oh my gosh, so many taco wallets. Last year it was face masks, this year it's taco wallets. It was a really easy pattern. Let me share. Um, it is Simplicity. S9307. It was a really, really easy pattern. I think you'll like it. There are two uh, variations. There is a large bear and a small bear. If you want a smaller, like, memory bear, I would do the small bear because there is a serious size. I don't know if you can see it on the back. But there is a serious difference between the large and the small. So I'm glad I'm really glad that I cut out the small size because I don't think I'll ever need that large size. But anyway, um, the pattern was really, really easy. If you're a beginner sewer, this is going to be a really good one for you. There's a couple of tips that I threw in there. Um, you'll see in the video where you see those little triangle things and you're like, what the heck are those and why? <laughs> in the video today, I'll show you how to do those and take care of those. So that you can make sure that your bear is going to turn out the way that it's supposed to. And everything fits and goes where it's supposed to. So, let's get started. Alright, so the very first thing you're going to do is grab the ear pattern. When you cut out your pattern, you're going to see your little triangles. Well, when you do your fabric pattern, you need to have the triangles going the opposite way. And that's going to come into play later on when you're going to put... In the directions, I think the ear goes like that so that you have that little nip to make it look like an ear. You need that little tuck there just as you would um, like with clothing or anything you're going to make that has those little uh, triangles. They're there so that things will match up. So we're going to need those. Cut. You're supposed to cut out four for the ear and then we're going to sew, I think we put the right sides together and then sew around. All right, so once you get those sewn, what you're going to do is you're going to cut little notches out at the very top. This will allow you to be able to turn it inside out and have it lay flat. Now, I've already done that with this one, and in the directions, this is where those little notches are going to come into, part, into play. Is you're going to take this notch and put it on top, directly on top of that other set of notches. Um, and by the way, all of the pattern calls for a quarter of an inch um, seam allowance. Uh, just for this, I would just do an eighth of an inch so that you don't see it when you're um, sewing the ears in. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the head piece. Um, you should see the little cutout for the ears. And what I've done is grab one of the ears and you're supposed to line up again on your head make sure that you cut out all of these little notches so that you can find uh, where you're supposed to be so I've got my little flap and I've got it to where uh, where we took the flap and we turned it over it's gonna be right side to your head I believe this is gonna be your left piece don't quote me on that <laughs> so we're gonna match up that notch and then what I'm going to do is just kind of base stitch this in place. This isn't in the instructions, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it so I don't have to worry about it when I'm putting uh, the next piece on. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it right here. And this kind of curves around. So when you clip in, in the directions, you kind of have a V and then you have to clip in. So I'm going to just move this out of my way. And I'm doing it kind of an eighth of an inch, a little bit bigger. Now you're going to have to pull this over a little bit because this is 3D, so you're not going to be sewing straight. Get that ear out a little bit. So when you flip it over, and this is kind of where that mental skill comes out, you can see where the nose is going to be. This is going to be the right side of the face. or Let's see, on the bare looking at it, it's going to be the left side. But as far as like the right side of the fabric, you're going to want that little flap to place, uh, to lay down on the, on the right side, right side of the fabric to the right side of the ear 
poking out. I would say that this is the right side of the ear. I know this is really confusing. I'm so sorry. But what I figured was I took the right side of the ear. That's going to be with that little tuck in there. And I put that to the right side of the fabric. So they should, you should have two ears going two different ways. Um, all right, so I've got that all stitched down. Now I'm going to grab the other side. Where are you, other side? Okay, so now this is going to be on the bear, so that's going to be the right, um, the right side of his face. And I've got the other ear. You're just going to make sure that this flap is facing the right side of the right ear. So you're going to match up the notches first, and you're going to make sure that there's a little room up here at the top. And again, I'm just going to base it in place once I know everything is all lined up. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do, now that you've got your ear basted in place, I highly suggest that just so that it's done and you, know, you don't have to have a bunch of clips in the way. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take this flap on the other side and you're going to put right sides together, making sure that you're matching up those notches right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stitch that down. Do that with both ears and you can kind of see the, how the face is turning and how it's turning more um, into the 3D. All right, so now we're going to grab that Y looking piece and our little nose piece, his little, little nose. All right, so what you're going to do, right sides together, you're going to scooch that nose down. Hopefully you can see that. Um, where the edges of his, of that little notch is, these little edges right here are going to be at the edges of that Y piece. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew across there at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So you can probably see a little better now. The little edges right here and right here, those are going to match up. The next thing you're going to do is iron this down so that it becomes one piece and you have your little nose. He's so cute! So we've moved, so we have a little bit of room to work. All right, so I have grabbed, let's see, when you're looking at him, it is going to be the right side of his face. And you can tell this is the tip of his little nose. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your Y piece that you just worked on, and you're going to grab his little nose, and we're going to put it there. You see there's a notch by that nose piece. You're going to match up those notches. Now, if you don't have a lot of clips or pins, you need to grab them now because you're going to need them. So we're going to put that in there. Now, what you're going to be doing is basically just following the notches. This is going to be 3D, so it's going to be very rounded. And the very first thing that I did was I grabbed all these notches first, and then I'll go back, and I'm just placing it along the notches finding those first and clipping them and then I'm going to go back to the in between the notches and line up the sides. So I know it's hard to see but you're just you're going around that face and clipping it all up. The very first thing you're going to have to do is those notches so that everything Everything else should line up relatively easy if you've done your notches. Now this part I found was a little difficult because you got that seam there. I wish they had put a notch on the Y where the seam is, but that's okay. All right, so just wiggle it till you make it work. And there you go. So you can kind of see from this side that you're going around that side of the head. And you're just going to want to clip all the way around and then sew this at a quarter of an inch seam. Okay, so he is starting to take shape and looks so cute. So he's got his little ear and we've got his little nose down there. Now that I'm seeing it all put together, I wish I had made this a different color. 
but what's done is done. All right, now the next thing you're going to do is grab the other side of his little face, and we're going to start putting the nose clips. Oh, I think I left all my clips over there. So, we're, very first thing is you're going to put notches together. So, this is my nose piece, this is my nose piece, and this is the very first notch. Clip that first. That's the very first thing you want to do. Then follow it around until you get to the next notch. Alright, now just go sew this up at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so something that I forgot to do was I forgot to add the eye placement on your actual pattern. So I just took my pen and I put the, the ink out and just kind of poked a hole through there. And then I lined it up with with the face here and I went ahead and made my mark. So I just laid it down like this, made my little mark and now we're gonna make his little eyeballs. Make sure that you do it on each side. Now, when you put your eyeball in there, they want you to do some sort of stabilization going on back here, but I'm not really sure what they want you to use um, other than everything's already stabilized. So I don't know if they're thinking you have regular uh, fabric and then you just need to stabilize it so that it will go through. Um, I made a really small hole when I was doing this. Um, don't ask me what size or millimeter these eyeballs are. I have no idea. I just happen to have them in my drawer and I figured they would work. So uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to poke the eyeball with the big part on the outside. And then on the back, you're going to have this little cap. Hopefully you can see it. And then I believe it's been a little while since I've had to do this. Okay, so the indentation... It, I think there's one side that kind of pokes out a little bit and the other side kind of goes in. You're going to want the side that kind of goes in to go on the end. So it kind of just hugs it. And as you poke it down, you can see there's little notches. There, There's little notches here and as you poke that down, they kind of like, you couldn't get this off even if you wanted to because of those little notches. So now he has got a ah, eyeball. <laughs> Let me do the next one. Oh my goodness, he's got a little face. He's so cute. So um, I'm not sure. I didn't read the directions about what size eyes to use. Um, I just had what I had on hand, and I figured it would work. He looks just as cute. Um, all right, so the next thing that we're going to do is get his little chin. So we're going to stitch from the edge to the little dot, just like you would do a dart. You don't have to back stitch or anything, but just kind of sew right up to that dot. Okay, so we've got our little chin piece that we made, and it should look like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the very top point, and your face, your face should be inside out. We're going to match up this line right here with that, and clip it. Now what we're going to do is this is round again. You're just going to have to follow it all the way around the best you can. And the more clips you use, the better most likely your outcome will be. So just clip, clip, clip like crazy. And then you're just going to sew around that. And we turn it inside out. He has his little chin. All right, so he's got these little nips in his head and you need to put those together. And just like you would do a little dart, you're gonna start over here and then sew off the edge. You need to do that on both sides. So now what you're essentially doing is closing up some portions of the head. The next thing that you're gonna do is in the very, very back 
you're going to sew this up as well. So start from this, start from the bottom, and then sew your way around. If you feel more comfortable, go ahead and clip that together before you sew it. He's got a head and he looks so cute. Hopefully you can see him. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. Now we're going to grab the body. Okay, now I have got the front. Yes, I've got the front piece and you're supposed to have two that are mirrored. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is sew down this one side to create his widow tummy. So when you open it up, you can see his widow tummy. Oof. Okay, so the pattern wants you to take the little bottom end of him where his legs are going to be, and they want you to do a gathering stitch. Now, um, I lengthen the stitches on my sewing machine to a four. That's as, as lengthened as I can do. Um, so you're just going to go not quite a quarter of an inch, uh, maybe like an eighth of an inch. Don't back stitch or anything, and make sure you leave yourself some tails on both sides, and that way you can kind of gather this up really easily. They want you to also do that to the upper and the lower legs, just the tops individually. So you've got two of each. You need to separate them and do just do a gathering stitch on it. Cut them to separate them, and then you're going to need to put the upper arms with the lower arms. We've Okay, so we've got the upper and the lower arms attached. You're going to sew all the way around. Okay, so you've got them all sewn up and down the sides. What you're supposed to do, and I made a lot because I went ahead and just wanted to make sure that it, when it turned, it turns flat. But I went ahead and made like a bunch of little notches all the way around so that when you turn it inside out, that it lays nice and flat all the way around. So you want to take your fingers and kind of like do this number where you roll that seam out all the way around. And now you're going to need some stuffing for your little arms. Okay, so you have turned inside out both of your little arms and you're supposed to stuff them and they're not supposed to be like really um, thick is what they said. So just kind of nice and soft, I think is the word they used. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that all this is out of the way and in the instructions they tell you to pull the strings to gather it a little bit. But I am just going to go ahead and I kind of wished I had done this on my industrial but that's okay. Um, I'm going to push that stuffing out of my way and then I'm going to sew these closed. In the direction they say pull it and then sew it, I'm just going to go ahead and sew it and I think it'll be fine. Alright, the next part you're going to want to get your body and then we're going to attach the body. So up here you've got these little slits. And honestly, I've lost count of what's top and what's bottom, so we're going to work with what, <laughs> what's going to look right. So from the corner over, let's see, I'm double checking my directions here. You're going to want space between your outside seam and where your arm actually goes. Okay, so you're going to lay this out. You can clip it or go ahead and baste it like we did a few other things. And then you're going to take this part and lay it over top like this so that your arm is going to come out like that. He's got both his little arms. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab the back two pieces. 
Uh, make sure that you put all of your notches and everything so that you'll know where everything needs to go. Um, I did not put a notch here because I missed it when I was cutting it out. So I went ahead and I drew a notch on there. The instructions say they want you to sew from the top around the back to the first notch. Then pick up again at the second notch and go around. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. At the very top to the first notch, then from the second notch to the little tail part. Now I'm going to sew from the tail part all the way down. You need to grab your tail and make sure that you clip that little notch out as well. I've got right sides together and I'm just going to sew around the rounded part. Now you're going to turn it inside out and I don't think they get you to stuff it. I don't see anything about stuffing it. So now what you're going to do is grab, if I can get this in frame, now what you're going to do is grab this, open this up and it's going to kind of like, all right, so this is your back where the V is. You're going to kind of meet up those seams right there hopefully you can see it so all right so it's a big v we're going to be putting the right sides of the fabric together like this okay so it looks like that and what you're going to do is you're going to take your tail with that point there that's going to meet this point right here so you're going to slip it through the inside and I gotta make my my slits a little bit longer because the tail's a little bit longer. Are you supposed to think you're supposed to squinch it till it fits? So that's what we're gonna do. That's what I see in the direction. So we're gonna roll with it. All right. There's a little more tail on this side than that side. So work out your tail, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sew straight across there. Oh my goodness, his little tail, he's so cute. Okay, they want you to grab your back and your front and put them together. Okay, so we've got our back with our cute little tail and our front. And what they want you to do is take the back bottom, so it's just this little bit right here, and they want you to take the top, because you've got your strings where you can pull them now, and they want you to go ahead and make that about the size of your back. So you just take those basting stitches and make it, you just pull on them until you make these about approximately the same size. And then just clip those together. So I'm just pulling on one string Till I get it to be the size that I want it to be. Okay, so they're both the same size now, approximately. I could go a little smaller on my front, but at this point, just kind of be ready to be done. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stitch that. The next directions they want you to do is take the full on sides. Let's see, make sure I'm doing this right. This is getting harder and harder to work with as it gets smaller. Okay, so what they want you to do is to clip the front and the back sides all the way down on both sides, leaving the top. Oh my goodness, this thing is so jacked up. <laughs> leaving the top open. So we're just gonna clip, start clipping like crazy. All right, we're getting there. So I've got the foot all cut out and the side that kind of has a slope like that, we're going to stitch down. Make sure that you back stitch. Okay, so you're going to need to cut some notches into this so that when it folds down or when you turn it inside out, 
um, it'll lay flat. So my camera died and we're just gonna have to hope that we're in frame now. So <laughs> the next thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to do um, a basting stitch like we did before so that we can pull it. So you need to lengthen your stitches to like a four and sew from here all the way around to here so that we can pull them so that they will fit into the little foot fold. Okay, so you've got your leg done. Now you need to get your very bottom piece, the little bottom of your foot. And this is gonna go towards the back. This is the front of your foot. So what you're gonna need to do is clip this to the back first. And then match up your other notches. Try not to clip on your um, string so that you can pull them. So you see how that's bigger than that? That's where those little strings are going to come in handy. They are going to help you make it smaller so that it fits. Ooh, got my clips on there. Okay, so you'll just pull on the strings, kind of try and straighten it out a little bit so that it looks like it's supposed to, and then go ahead, go ahead and clip everything down, and then just go around, go ahead and sew around your front, and then we're going to turn it right side out. Then you're going to turn them inside or right side out, I guess I should say. And then I believe you're going to put the next step is putting it in the body. So you've got your little foot all done. Let me do the other foot and then I will show you what to do next. So we've got your legs all done. Now we're going to grab the body and grab the very bottom. And you've got your little marks that hopefully you made. The very front seam is going to uh, attach itself to this one. So you're just gonna stick it in there. Okay, so the front seam goes to the one on the front of the bear. The two in the back of the leg are gonna go to the back of the bear. But go ahead, clip around both legs, and then sew those up.
All right, so what did you guys think? This was actually a really easy sew. I would definitely recommend this pattern. Whoever came out with this pattern, uh, the pattern writer really had it, kind of broke it down so that it was a lot easier. I have another pattern that I have to tackle in a few days and I'm really not looking forward to it because it's not that easy. Um, we were looking for these at Hobby Lobby and they were on sale so we were kind of looking through the, the animal patterns and we found a dragon. So this is in my future and the directions are looking kind of rough so we'll see but this pattern was really awesome whoever wrote the pattern did a really great job of making it pretty simple it's only two pages um, the pattern thing was only uh, like one sheet and it was it was just really really easy now don't ask me if you can use one onesie and get it knocked out I don't think so looking at the pattern pieces laid out I think it would take more like two two and a half uh, that's what a lot of people want their baby onesies turn into little bears. I think if you downsize the pattern a little bit, it would be possible, but as it is, I don't think you'd be able to do it with just one onesie. Um, a couple things I do wanna mention is when you're doing the arms, make sure that your arms are really in there good. I know I can tell a little bit on mine where they weren't quite in there just right, so pay attention to that so that these arms are really good and sturdy because somebody's gonna inevitably gonna be pulling on them. I think the ears were the big thing too. I had to remember um, because they were, if you're going to use a different color on the back and a different color on the front, you really got to pay attention to which direction you're folding that tab down in because there's going to be one for each side. And if you accidentally fold the tab the wrong way, you'll have a backwards ear. So just pay attention to those little things, um, especially if you're using, like you're trying to coordinate. This killed me. Like I love having things kind of match and I was trying to be random and I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> if, if I could do it with like two different fabrics, I think it would look a lot nicer, but I was trying to use up the different t-shirts um, in it. So anyway, I think he's a little fat. I think in the pattern, he's a little chunky. But that's okay. We like chunk here. We like them thick. If you like that video, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you want to subscribe and hang around for some more videos, I may post the dragon video. I don't know. It depends on how he turns out. <laughs> I'm really kind of dreading it. The pattern is kind of like a little... Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section. Or looking at this video and you're going, I can't do that. Faith, can you make something for me? Sure. Just message me on the link below. Thanks for joining us here on FaithWorks Designs. Bye, guys.